Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshekaran and welcome to this series of database lessons. In this video, I will talk about data concurrency. What is data concurrency? As we saw in the previous video, this is a ticketing system where uh, multiple ticketing officers, they are using a centralized uh, database system. So the process of this system, DBMS system, allowing multiple people to access data simultaneously or concurrently, that's called uh, data concurrency, which is basically allowing uh, the ability for the database system to allow multiple users to access data. So let me give you an uh, example in this case. So let's say a passenger Tom comes to this officer. Okay, so she enters this data name. Tom and Tom is traveling from Philadelphia to Florida in economy class. At the same time, Jerry is here and this officer is entering this data. Jerry traveling from Philadelphia to Florida in first class. Oh, Jerry is traveling in first class. Tom is traveling in economy. Poor Tom. Anyway, around the same time, this officer. As a passenger called Mickey traveling from San Francisco to LA in business class. So what happens here is this database system, the database management system has the ability to allow these users, these multiple users to concurrently work with the data here. That's called data concurrency. A database management system has to support data concurrency. I mean, in these days, all the database, all the RDBMS, they support data concurrency. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please send me your comments. Thanks.